Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Uh, so as you can see from the little montage at the beginning there, we're going to be taking a look at the Predator 360. Uh, this is from EK. They are based in Europe, I believe, Slovenia. Um, so in this video, we're going to do a quick install of it. Um, then we're going to take a look at temperatures. We will compare it against an air cooler. Uh, and then we'll also take a listen to noise. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it. Alright guys, so that was the install. Uh, Fantex really made it easy with this uh, Pro-M. They have a really neat slide out system for mounting radiators uh, or fans for that matter. Uh, and that's what you saw me mounting the Predator 2. Um, got it in, we did some temperature testing with it. So 
I put this up against a run-of-the-mill $30, $40 air cooler, the uh, Cryorig H7. Um, so I tested about five or six different scenarios, uh, different applications. Uh, we did note maximum temperature, which is going to be the results that you see. Um, we ran the 6700K at 4.5 gigahertz, and that was at a voltage of 1.285. Then we bumped it up and ran it at 4.7 gigahertz, and that was at a voltage of 1.4. Um, so here's the results. Alright, so let's uh, talk about the results a little bit. Um, so in my opinion, the Predator performed fantastic. Um, another part of the methodology uh, that I need to share with you guys is the fan curve uh, for both the Predator and the air cooler. Uh, so what I did so that this is easily replicated, um, I set a fan curve of 1 to 1. So at 30 degrees Celsius we had 30 percent fan speed at 60 degrees Celsius we had 60 percent fan speed um, and again on both the Predator and the H7 um, so the reason I think the Predator is uh, I love the Predator the reason that I like it is because we did get a little hot when we pushed it to 1.4 but we also definitely still had some headroom. We could move that fan speed up a little bit. Um, the, the H7 was just, it could not handle it. It could not take the heat. And understandably, uh, 1.4 volts is not something that I would recommend you running your computer at daily. Um, but I, I think the Predator handled it great. Um, so talking about fan speed, um, the next thing that I need to show you guys is fan noise um, and this is why I was talking about being able to up the fan speed some normally uh, with an air cooler you're going to greatly increase the noise if you're upping that fan speed with this Predator I think you're gonna be impressed at the fan noise um, I could run this thing at a hundred and it's still not as loud as some air coolers at 40 50 percent um, Here's the sound. So as you could hear, uh, you're not having to make a huge trade-off uh, in regard to temperatures versus fan noise. Um, if you're working with a hotter chip, say something like an AMD FX series, uh, you could easily bump up the fan speed on this and it's not going to annoy the piss out of you. Um, I think it's a great option. Uh, I love the Predator. Um, so this is selling right now. I believe it's on sale right now. Um, Newegg had it as of day before yesterday, at least, uh, for right around 190. <clears throat> excuse me, 190, maybe 200 dollars. Uh, that's a great deal if they do still have that. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the description as well for it. Um, my unit actually cost me around 240, 250. I did purchase it direct from EK, and I'm glad that I did. Um, Full disclosure, I did have an issue with the first Predator that I got. Um, I had been running it for about three or four months. Uh, it developed a leak. Uh, luckily, I caught it before it did any damage to the computer, thankfully. Um, but messaged EK, um, 
all the way from Slovenia. They had me a replacement unit in 48 hours. They cross-shipped it. I didn't even have mine in the mail yet, and my new one had gotten here. So they, they were absolutely phenomenal uh, in customer service. Um, <clears throat> as far as the leak, I don't think it's anything that you all should worry about. Um, I believe it was actually uh, something that I had done. Um, I did put quite a bit of stress on the tubes fitting it into this smaller case. Um, I, I don't think it was a defective unit. Luckily, they stepped up and they were completely fine with replacing it, and I'm thankful for that, but I don't want to put it off on them. I don't think it was on them. I don't think it was on manufacturing. Um, so I think it's worth your money, guys. If you're thinking about going liquid cooling and you want to take it, uh, you know, a step further than maybe a Corsair unit or the new NZXT unit, again, nothing wrong with those, but if you're wanting to take it a step further, you may want to look at this. They also offer it, I believe, in 140 variant, uh, 280 variant, 240 variant. Um, so you've got some options there, uh, if you're running a smaller case. Um, that's it for this one. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. Uh, we did hit 150 subscribers today. That is monumental for me. Um, I am incredibly grateful for all of you, uh, who subscribe, all of you who watch. Um, if you like it, hit that like button. Um, get subscribed if you're not subscribed. Uh, unfortunately, this weekend I have to go to Tennessee. Tennessee is where I'm originally from. I live in North Carolina now. Um, going back to Tennessee to take care of some things, uh, actually getting married at the end of this year. Uh, December 31st, so it's coming soon. Um, so I will be away from the channel a little bit um, during the month of December. Uh, we'll try to get you know one or two videos in if we can. Um, we also are going to be doing some more giveaways. I've actually got a ton of stuff on order. Um, got a ton of giveaway items. If you are not subscribed, get subscribed for that. If you're not following us on social media, check out the link in the description. Follow us. You want to follow us. Trust me. Appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.